Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man Prime Time, and you already know you on Prime Time Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video. And you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. Oh man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? How about a whole lot of talk is going on about, you know who it is, the pound for pound number one man in the boxing land right now, and that is Canelo Alvarez. Well, you know, a lot of people are talking, you know, saying that, you know, Canelo and the Dimitri Bevo fight is... Um, a dangerous fight for him, which yes, it is. Any fight is a dangerous fight, but a lot of people are speculating, saying that, um, you know, Bevel is the, you know, the main guy to look for to come out with this win. Even Sean Porter on his podcast even went so far as to say that he ain't even gonna watch the fight. You know, it's a garbage fight, and he ain't gonna watch. It. What? Wow. What did Canelo do to you, Mr. Porter? Did he tell you he did not watch your fights? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure he watched the Terrence Crawford fight and watched you touch that canvas, brother man. But, you know, still love Sean Porter. You know, still respect everything he did for the business and the sport. You know, uh, but far as his opinion is just his opinion and his staff and people, you know. But me personally, I think it's probably like the easiest fight for Canelo, to be honest with you. Because when you get fighters like uh, Dimitri Bevel um, and they got to step up to the occasion to fight somebody like a, you know, fighter of Canelo's caliber. A lot of time those nerves is gonna settle in first and i would say bevel would do better in a rematch against canelo than this first fight you know be honest with you because canelo been on the grandest of grandest stages you know um for a very long time now and you know i really just don't see bevel outmatching and outworking a Canelo, especially as smart as Canelo is, his ring IQ is, you know, off the meters and his footwork, his pivot, his hooks, his shots, you know, the way he set up his blows, man, you know, Dimitri Bevel, you know, I don't know. I mean, you know, me personally, I give any fighter a shot, any fighter. You know, because they can hit that lucky shot behind it, behind that jawbone or, you know, the back of the ear or that kidney bean punch like Bernard Hopkins put De La Hoya down with, you know, hey, anything can happen. But me personally, just looking at the stats, looking at how everything is, Canelo is more active, um, coming off of uh, very, very good wins and stoppages. So I look probably, you know, for a later stoppage with this, you know, prior round, I say before the 10th round, I say eight, ninth round, I see a stoppage by Canelo with the Dimitri Biv Bivol fight because Canelo used some very, very good angles and he uses the uppercut very, very well. And uh, even a short, uppercut he uh, he uses a lot and he throw a lot of hooks so you know i don't think Bevo gonna be able to withstand that rain once it actually uh gets turned up on him by canelo and that's you know just my little two cent hey you know everybody got an opinion you know what i mean so it's all good i would like to hear your comments and what you guys think about that uh, also, in other Canelo news, <laughs> you know, Canelo need his own station, man. <laughs> you know, they basically, you know, saying that Canelo should get promoter of the year because, you know, his little comment that he put out not too long ago saying that the best need to fight the best. I know everyone wants to fight me. Everyone wants to fight me because I'm the payday. But, you know, it comes a time where the best need to fight the best and then I'll fight the rest. I don't even care no more. 
<laughs> he basically said, look, I don't even care no more. You guys fight each other, sort it out, whoever the best is, and I'll fight the winner of that. So, you know, you got Charlo versus Mungaya. Um, uh, I think that's pronunciation. Don't kill the messenger if I don't pronounce it right. And um, David Benavidez uh, versus... Caleb Plant. <laughs> what? Yeah, Caleb Plant. Everybody thought Caleb Plant was gone, but Caleb Plant said, that, look, fat boy, I can beat you. <laughs> and David Benavidez replied back to Caleb Plant and said, man, I'll knock you out faster than Canelo knocked you out. Ooh. So, hey, that would be a awesome fight for this year that charlo um mungaya that that'll be a good fight to determine you know who's the best out of those two and then you know the best out of that need to fight each other and then the final one eliminated for canelo for the for the marbles that would be awesome in a perfect world who's to say it'll really happen but I don't know, maybe if we keep pushing the envelope, keep pressing the issue, then maybe it can materialize in time. So, but far as this year goes, Canelo already said that he's booked up this year. Y'all guys fight each other this year. That way next year, then I can look to fight the winner of those in this eliminator. So that would be awesome. And I definitely give Canelo props for making that one up for putting that together that was genius i love it i love it a lot because truly if these guys ain't fighting this guy they need to fight somebody you know keep your name relevant keep things drumming up keep people talking about you you know and that's that's how you're gonna get the big fights that's how you're gonna pressure canelo into a fight is if you keep winning and keep calling his name so you know hey it is what it is i think canelo makes a good point a lot of people uh, hate on canelo this that and the third nah i don't hate on nobody to be honest with you only people i hate on is the ones that say they're gonna fight somebody and don't fight like george cambosis and Devin haney you know Devin haney been calling this guy out and going everywhere he needed to go to make this fight happen and you don't see george cambosis doing none of the sort and of course you know people oh well, he got all the belts and all. well he defended it you know see y'all y'all looking at the wrong thing the right thing to look at is is hey george cambosis stay in the ring stay in shape defend the titles you know get get some defenses under your uh, under your belt you know, go ahead and defend it against Devin Haney if you can beat him. And if you can't beat him, move on and find somebody else. Because if you don't choose Devin Haney next, then we know what the truth is. And the truth is, is that you really don't have the confidence or either your team don't have the confidence in you to fight a Devin Haney. So they want to fight an in-between fight. That's the only reason why fighters want to fight somebody else. Is either there's no money involved in it, which it is money, because you know the zone, hey, match room, they know how to do their thing over there. They got Canelo, hey, so, you know, hey, what what's the hold up? You know, George Cambosis, what's the hold up, man? What's the excuse now? I I really would love to hear. I, I saw you in front of a yacht doing you know uh community service or whatever the case may be uh when you gonna do some more service in that ring with them belts that's what we really want to hear we at least want to hear a date we at least want to hear when you plan on stepping in the ring and who you plan on defending against because me truly personally if i was a bet man i would bet any amount of money that you're not gonna fight Devin haney next that's one thing i could bet so anyway you know, hey, like I said, Canelo should get promoter of the year for the way he put these fights here together. And that's how every pound for pound champion should be. They should set up everything and say, hey, this fighter need to fight this fighter, that fighter need to fight that fighter, and then I'll fight the winner of those. You know? So, hey, ingenious. Love it. Love it a lot. So, with that being said, you know, Canelo, keep doing what you're doing. Hey, I hope 
um, everything falls in place. I hope that Charlo get a chance at at least, you know, competing for uh, Canelo payday. And Demetrius Andrade, you know, I would love to see them guys all compete for a chance at Canelo. And I would love to see whoever wins out of that gauntlet fight Canelo, period. No excuses. So anyway, that's all I got for you in this video. You already know the routine when you leave my house, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV and I'm on social media everywhere and definitely go to the website, copy your shirt, hat, phone case, something. All right, y'all. Peace. Love, fam.